two goals today, get weed, go to the Hammer Museum. Okay, well we actually made it. Now the question is, the question on everyone's mind is, are they gonna be sold out? It irks me sometimes. Mm. Truly the home of the weird flex, you know what I mean? Chocolate cover, the blueberries, and the chocolate covered espresso beans. Um, okay, well, we got it. Uh, apparently, it's not. Um, nobody else can be on camera, which I totally respect, obviously. Trying to shoot this vlog, you have to be really respectful of what other people want. I don't just go around shooting people that, want to, that don't want to be shot, but. Uh, the other thing is the guy who uh, rang me out was super cool. Um, he woke up to a ruptured colon um, four years ago, and he was paralyzed on his right side. He just told me this story. Paralyzed on his right side, and he was supposed to never be able to walk again. Left his corporate job, started working at MedMen, um, and he's fully mobile. So, pretty incredible story, and him just sharing that, I think, was confirmation inspiring for me to just be out you know in the day it's amazing what happens when you just leave your apartment you know what I mean time to get this tizzy out and to ascend I'm actually gonna keep the receipt because I'm actually be better at my finances trying to budget oh it's a journey but anyway I know I just bought weed for those of you who are judging me um, I don't care Okay, just got out of the Hammer Museum. It was really incredible. I got a sick poster, which I'll show you soon. Um, Jatovia Gary blew my mind. Really incredible uh, video installation. And um, the other piece I was really interested in is the one that I uh, got the poster for. So I'll show you those soon. And next step is uh, to go see Ezra and Amanda. Well, I'm gonna go get coffee first, regroup, and then um, go down to Santa Monica and see Ezra and Amanda. an incredible day. The Hammer Museum was wonderful and I can't wait to tell you more about it. I had a lot of fun and was really moved, deeply moved and inspired. Um, in Santa Monica waiting on a lift to go to the Apple store to get a freaking charging case for my phone. So when I shoot these videos while I'm on the go, there's just no way to charge it but I'm using it like to its max so um, I need one. Maybe I'll return it but I need it for now. All right, huge update. Just realized the Apple store is uh, right next to the restaurant. So this trip will be the trip to both. Uh, All right, what's up? We made it just barely. Here he is, Ezra Gentle, as promised. And uh, here's a picture of his face as the background. This is how you hack the Putting Apple it up store. There. Um, 
now we're gonna go to dinner. I'll introduce you to Amanda and Judah Labuda. But uh, been in the store, got a case. Case was dead, so that's charging. The phone's at 30%. Um, turns out if I'm gonna vlog and use my phone, I'm gonna have to have a smart battery case that's charged. Uh, him to Uovo in Santa Monica on 2nd Street. Uh, amazing little Italian restaurant that I have found to be the best, most authentic Italian food in oh, so Los Angeles. Nice. Uh, I've had the Ameritriana, I think, okay. and it has this like pork cheek meat in there. It's like a bacon, but it's really soft and tender and uh, nice. extremely delicious. Sick. That sounds good. All right, just finished dinner. Um, was delicious. Had carbonara, which I've been making for my friends recently, and it's been hard but good. And so to have it at a delicious place that imports the noodles overnight from Italy was awesome. That being said, the experience was kind of rough. They brought out the wrong dish for me, and then they told us they were gonna change the bill. And then when they bring us the bill back, it's $1 more. And they're just like, hey, we gave you a discount, but that dish is a little bit more. And they're just like, at that point, just don't say anything. It's a weird like accounting thing to bring up over dinner. But I had fun. It was great to see them. Great to see Judah. Obviously I love them and uh, it's always good to scheme and plot with him because you know we grew up together. So more soon. Part of the piece tonight that really moved me involved a woman asking other women if they felt safe. And it was specifically about being a black woman in New York. She was in Harlem asking these questions asking where people are from, do they feel safe? Safe in their body, safe on the street, safe in the world. And um, I watched the whole thing. It was like an hour and 45 minutes, something like that. Maybe a little bit shorter, but long. But nobody else was in there with me. People kept coming in and leaving. Nobody was in there more than like five minutes. I was like, you guys don't understand how long this is. Um, but also, I just couldn't pull away. There's this part with Nina Simone singing. Wow, she commands such a performance. But then it also cuts to this really stunning 16 millimeter footage of um, a beautiful black woman standing in various spaces, screaming, just looking at the camera. Almost like a shoot, like a modeling shoot, but the music is very, sets a different tone. Her eye contact sets a different tone. Too, so yeah, it's really powerful. I'll uh, you know just mention it, obviously, but it's at the Hammer Museum right now in LA, in Westwood. So I recommend it. Jesus.